Hi. Last week, I started my exploration of how I see a lot of organisations, not all of them, but a lot of organisations responding to the fact that the future of work is going to be hybrid. And I threw together this um, simple illustration of the seven stages I think they go through. And last week I explored the first one being, what the do we do now? Um, the knee jerk reaction number two is just get everybody back in the office. Now, let's go back to the way it was. Uh, number three, the realization that our people don't like this. And four, perhaps we should rethink our approach. And five, I talked about on Friday, let's be ultra radical, ultra radical and involve our people. So yes, an element of sarcasm there, as you can probably hear. So why not co-design a solution with your employees? What is it they want? Every organisation is different. What is it your organisation, your employees want? When do they want to work? Where do they want to work from? How do they want to work? And then come up with the solution. Number seven, sorry, number six, is the realisation that this is fun. Let's do more. Our people are happy. So it's the realisation in the wake up call that when you give people autonomy and flexibility and freedom of choice to work how they want, where they want, when they want, they are so much more engaged, so much more motivated, happier employees, their mental well-being improves and they're far more productive. And if you're only just realising that, where have you been? Because your competition is all over this. And this is a stage at which organisations say, right, we've worked, we've worked out how to work, when to work, where to work. We now need to do more. We need to build agile ways of working and agile teams to keep building incrementally on what we've already put in place. Because this is a learning journey and we're learning through experimentation and creativity. And there will be bumps in the road. It's also a point at which we have to know how to support our employees, make sure they have everything they need, the infrastructure, etc., to work effectively from wherever they want to work from. And most importantly at this point is to invest in the uplift of leadership capability. Because unfortunately, most managers, I'm not using the word leader, there's a lot of managers who still measure performance based on the number of hours they can see a person in the office. Now we all know that that person could be in the office eight hours and not be productive at all. But until we develop leaders who can measure outcomes, not hours, then we're not going to have a successful hybrid um, working environment. A big shift in mindset. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.